So this is very nice because we wrote the whole thing. Let me write this as D, right? Because we wrote the whole thing as something equal to zero. Certain functions of these three n plus three variables are equal to zero. If I combine all of these, I can write it as uh, I can write it as a, b, c, and d into a huge vector. Thinking about, uh, thinking about. Let me use the function g. G of x is equal to zero, where g is the combination of of all these three n plus three equations. And here we use Newton's method to solve it. So the Newton's method. Is linearizing this g of x equal to zero, and if I have an initial guess that is close to the true solution, it doesn't have to be exact, it doesn't have to be even approximate, but somehow close to the solution, I can use the Newton's iteration to find a better approximation to the to that initial condition, and I can always write x of k plus 1, the k plus 1 the iteration, if k is equal to 0, that's my first better approximation, is equal to xk minus, this is a matrix, partial g partial x inverse, right, times g of xk. So this is Newton's iterations we derived last time. G of x k, x k is the residual. If G of x k is equal to zero, we already solved the equation. If G of x k is not zero, that's a residual. And by approximating the residual using a Taylor series of only a constant and derivative term, we derive this equation, right? So x k plus one can be thought of as the zero point, the solution to the linear approximation to the function g. We write down a linear approximation to function g, and we compute its solution. That's x k plus one. And now, hopefully, it's better solution to the equation. We get a better linear approximation, and we solve it again to find the zero point, the solution of the better linear approximation, and we iterate. <laughs>